Problem 4.1.6 from Broberman 6th edition is a little bit unusual in the sense that the bond that we're going to be considering is going to be having quarterly coupons instead of the usual thing, semi-annual coupons. We're going to be calculating the yield for that bond as a nominal annual rate convertible quarterly, and we'll have to use calculator functions to do that. Calculator built-in financial functions. We've got a 25-year bond with a par value or face value of 1,000. It's got 10% coupons that are payable quarterly, not semi-annually, and it's selling for 800. The goal is to calculate the annual nominal yield rate convertible quarterly. All right, so the effective quarterly rate, rate would be uh, one fourth of the answer. So if we can find the quarterly rate, rate we need to multiply it by four. Don't need, really need a number line for this, but I'll go ahead and draw it anyway. I've been avoiding timelines here recently, but Let's go ahead and draw it for this one. These are supposed to represent quarters, 100 quarters in uh, 25 years. You've got the 10% um, coupon rate being an, a nominal annual rate. You've got to divide that by four to get the quarterly coupon rate, 2.5%, times the face value of 1,000, gives you 25. That's the amount of the coupons. And you've got 100 of those. And then you've got the redemption value. They don't say specifically the words redemption value, but the assumption would be that it's the same as the par value, the same as the face value, that it is 1,000 at the end. All right, and you've got your 800 payment at the beginning. That is the price of the bond. If you want to write down an equation, you could say 800 is 25A sub 100 with unknown quarterly effective quarterly rate J. If I can find JR multiplied by 4 to get the final answer, plus 1,000 V sub J to the 100th power. But, you know, you can write that equation down, but you really can't solve that without a calculator. We need to approximate the solution with financial functions and the calculator. As a default, I've said this before, I like to keep my payments per year quantity set at 1. If you press the second function button and then press this one, it's set to be one. Now, this in this problem, it's really not going to represent payments per year. It's really going to represent payments per quarter. Pretend that Y is a Q, okay? If it were payments per month, I'd pretend the Y is an M. So I just, as a default, like personally to keep this set at one. You've got 100 payments. So store that in N. You've got... Um, a present value that you want to think of as going out, you are paying 800. So you want to think of the present value as being a negative quantity, 800, negative. Put that in PV. Think of that as a negative quantity because you're paying it out. These other quantities, the 25s and the 1000s, think of as positive quantities because uh, you're getting those. So I'll press 25 now and store that in PMT. And then 1,000 goes in FV for future value. Now I'm ready to compute the interest per year, which will really, will really be an interest per quarter. All right, and it's going to give it to me as a percentage. CPT, compute I slash Y, which really here again means interest per quarter. And that is as a percent, about 3.16%. J is about 3.16179%, or as a decimal, 0 0.0316179. Let's go ahead and divide that by 100. That means if you multiply it by 4, that's going to be the final answer. 4J, which is the final answer, is about 0.12647, about 12.6%. And that is correct. That is the final answer for the annual nominal yield rate that is convertible quarterly.